What is up my Nakama? So my name is Daniel and I'm a current third year medical student and to be honest I'm currently seriously out of shape. So med school has been pretty tough and being in clinic 12 to 13 hours a day is definitely taking its toll on me physically and mentally. So I've lost a lot of my calisthenics gains and on top of that I had a recent shoulder injury which has prevented me from doing a lot of the calisthenics exercises that I wish I could do. But rather than sit and fret upon it I am going to take matters in my own hands and try and do a cardio two week challenge. So for two weeks straight, I'm going to do cardio every single day. And basically I'm going to alternate between running and using this Peloton right here. And I'm going to take you guys on this journey. So I actually just came back from my first workout where I did jump rope and I ran one mile. And then I did some like shoulder mobility exercises in order to strengthen my shoulder. But you know, I'm excited to see my progress in two weeks. And I'm gonna try to be dedicated and eat a healthy diet and try and not snack and eat unhealthy things as I've been doing recently. So we'll see where it goes. And actually I'll show you guys what I look like right now. Okay, so this is my current physique and you know, it's not bad. I put on a little bit of pounds. To be exact, I put on 20 pounds, so I'm about 221. And you know, my calisthenics progress, it kind of waxes and wanes. Like I have months where I do extremely, extremely well. I'm chiseled, I'm built, and then it just all goes to crap. Um, if I've had like a really hard time in medical school, so I'm gonna see how these two weeks go Let's see what my physique looks like at the end of two weeks I don't imagine it's gonna be that much different, but hopefully, you know, I lose a little bit of um, Fat that I've built up, but um, we'll see how it goes Okay, first Peloton biking workout complete. I did a 20 minute hit ride with Alex Toussaint, my favorite instructor on Peloton. He does a lot of hip hop, rock, and he's just all about positivity and just good vibes and pushing yourself to your limits. But I'm super tired. It's actually been like two months since I've used the Peloton and I'm just dead right now. I'm so sweaty. I was getting a little bit of cramps in my stomach during the ride, but I pushed through. I did the whole 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, it was tough, but uh, this challenge, it's, it's pretty hard, you know, to do cardio every single day, but I got to keep through it. I got to push myself to pass my limits, dot to bio, on to tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Just look at this poke bowl. Third day in a row eating poke. Hopefully the fish is okay, but honestly, it's so tasty, I don't even care. All right, going to enjoy dinner, then got to study. See you tomorrow. And then after my haircut, it's day four of my cardio challenge where I'm gonna be doing this right here, the Peloton. So it's been officially five days since I started. Today is Saturday and I started this challenge on Tuesday and I gotta say, it's pretty tough to do cardio five days in a row. I think the most I've done cardio days in a row is pretty much just every other day, never consecutively like this. But I have to say like my one mile run today after my jump rope and my shoulder mobility stuff was pretty easy. I actually cut down my mile time by like 15 seconds. So I feel like I'm slightly getting used to it. So each day I'm just gonna try and push myself work harder on the bike, run faster on the treadmill, and just see how this two week cardio challenge plays out. So, see you tomorrow.
All right, so I just got back from the gym. Today is Monday, Monday, June 7th. So almost one week since I started this two week cardio challenge. And you know, I don't have pretty good news. So this morning I weighed myself and I actually gained one whole pound from the previous week. So, you know, that's a little disheartening when you work so hard with your cardio. And it could have been because I ate a lot on Saturday. We had a huge meal for a birthday celebration, but I don't know. But anyways, my net weight is one pound I gained. But you know, I'm still making progress. I still feel good. And my mile time is actually improving. I'm cutting down my mile time by a few seconds each time I go out to do my one mile run. But I'm just gonna keep it up. I'm not gonna let my motivation down. I'm not gonna let this one pound gain dishearten me because honestly, it's only one pound. If I work hard, keep on dieting, keep on eating healthy, I can still make some serious gains. So, till tomorrow. One week done, one more week to go. Date by you. So, whew, I just came back from a two mile run. I was gonna go to the gym, but I came back home kind of late and I didn't want to be rushed at the gym. So I decided to do my cardio today outside and it's a little bit hot, which is why I'm so sweaty, but also I try and run. I tried and run pretty hard. It's a two mile run and I actually use my Garmin watch, which I've had for about six months now. Um, this Garmin, I think it's like the Fit 24 or 50 or whatever, but it's awesome watch. I don't need to lug my phone around. I can time my runs with this. It actually has a GPS clock, cadence, heart rate. Um, it really tracks your runs, um, especially if like you're an actual runner. I'm just a newbie, but yeah, got to keep up this challenge. It's tough, but no matter what, I will do cardio every day, 14 days straight, almost there. Let's go. <laughs> 